Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Marguerite Miller Challenge uh, number week 15. Week 15. Holy cow, can you believe it? So um, I am cutting this down to make as a background. It is a piece of paper I will never use. I want to go by 11-ish. Um, I don't really care if you know, I want to go this way because I want to I want to cut off this was the last page on a paper pack and the stuff is stuck to the top of it I don't want to deal with it so I'm going to cut that off okay I'm going to go by oh it should probably be by 11 but I'm not going quite all that way Okay, well, we need to cut just a little bit more off the side. There. Now we have our base. So let me take a minute and put that down. And I'm going to do that with my crappy glue stick because this is, oh, I don't know why I'm doing it with the crappy one. Just because, I guess. Sorry. I don't really always have a reason for why you pick what you pick. Sometimes you just pick it. So, I hope things are going well for you. Uh, yes, I want the green up in the front, the top. There we go. So now I have a background. Um, I don't always do a background. Sometimes I use a piece within what we're doing as a background. And this time I have decided to put down a background because what we're actually working on is pieces. There's pieces of everything. So what do we need? We need a repeating pattern found in nature. And I have chosen probably because the eclipse is on my mind, uh, the phases of the moon. Ledger paper, I have a huge big sheet of it, and I almost used that as my background and then thought, no, you know, I'm, I don't really want to necessarily use all of that for that. Part of a product manual or installation guide, this came along with my tag topper punch, so we'll figure out a way to use that thread or a piece of fabric. I have some pink, um, I'll think of what this is called, embroidery floss there. Uh, a quote, and this is from George R.R. R. Martin, A Dance with Dragons. A reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. The man who never reads lives only one. Uh, and then a bonus is something stenciled, and I thought I might stencil something on here. Um, I did get out these. This is ProvoCraft. It's a, uh, a set of scissors that makes this particular pattern. And um, I don't know. I have them out. We'll see. I don't know if I'll use them for anything. Okay, and of course we have our guide here which I'm going to trim down just a little bit more. I don't like it to take up too much room on my page. All right, so let's figure out where we want to put things. I like how the pink works like this. I have two strands here, but I like how it just kind of I can frame that maybe with the pink. I don't know. We'll leave that there. Okay. I don't want all of this paper. I want some of it, of this ledger paper. I'm thinking down here. And I could include this. I mean, if I made that like a pocket, I could just slide this whole thing right into the pocket like so okay 
So let's go ahead and start gluing some things down and I want to ink some things. And I think I want to ink them. Where is, I have a very light, those are both yellow. No, that's lavender, I don't want lavender. Okay, I have spun sugar, but even that's a little bit bright. And I don't really have, let me see what I have in the oxides. Okay, in my oxides I have, that's also spun sugar, but it's not quite as bright. When you take a look at the Distress Ink versus the Distress Oxide, you can see that there is a slight difference in the color. This is the pigment. I don't think I'm going to use that one. I think I'm going to use Distress Oxide. Okay, so let me get my, what you call it here. Okay, my case top has broken. It no longer really attaches very well, but we'll live. We'll figure it out. Okay, first things first. Let's add some color. Yeah, that's nice. It's, you probably, it's, I don't know if it's showing up on the camera. I'll hold it up and try to show you that it really is making a pink edge. But it's very, very soft, and that's exactly what I want. I don't want anything. The other fun sugar, the ink, tends to be a little brassy. I did that with something the other day, and it was very, very brassy. As in loud and much darker than I really wanted it to be. But this oxide is a very nice color. And I'm only using pink because there's pink in the moons. And there's... A little bit of pink, believe it or not, in that. I mean, this, this it's a brown, but it's kind of a pinky brown. So we'll go with it. We'll use it. Okay. Set you aside for now. But we're going to come back to you because you're going to be part of our stencil. Okay, let me grab my Fabri-Tac because I want to make this a... I have something stuck under there. Just a piece of scrap. Oh, it's from my glue book. My glue book is getting towards the end of its life. It's been with me for a good long time. I can't complain. I started using this particular um, book. Come on. It's clogged up. Well, there it goes. I started using this glue book back in January of 2023, so it doesn't owe me anything. Okay, you stay there. I like the idea of you up here. The, we'll put the moon in the sky. It's still pretty clogged. Sorry about this. You can just fast forward past me waiting for the glue to come out. the moon up there. Let's put the quote up there. I like those two together. Okay. I think, I don't know if I'm going to tie that into a bow or what. Before I put that in, let's go ahead. This was a stencil that I got from the Dollar Tree, 
and I, I bought, got it because I really, it's, it's pretty thin. It's, I don't know how well it's going to work, but, um, okay. Are you even going to come out of there? Okay. But I thought, I really like those arrows. Do I want them to go this way or do I want them to go that way? I think I want them to go that way. So I'm going to put it on here, right there. And then just use my sponge sugar, Distress Oxide, in that pretty, very light pink color to add a stencil. If this comes out well, you'll see this in future journals. I really see this as a way to play around, use some of my journaling skills and just learn to play around with color and form. Okay, it's very light. Again, that's what I wanted. I didn't want anything too in your face. I just want this to be subtle. So now my tag can go in here, my topper punch piece. And let's go ahead and color this up, make it match everything else. There we go. I hope you're having a good time. If you are doing the Marguerite Miller challenge, please let me know. It's kind of cool. Um, I know not too many people are actually following it, um, following this part of it. Um, a lot of my subscribers, I have noticed, watch for the other things. They don't so much watch for the Marguerite Miller challenge. So that's okay. But if you are enjoying this, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe because that helps my YouTube algorithms. Okay, do I, how do I want to put this? I just want to, I want to put it up here somehow. And I think I just want to, there we go. I think I just want to put it up there. Nope, that's too formal. I think I'm just going to put it right up here. The two, I'm going to tie them together in a bow, theoretically. Let's tie them together so they don't fall apart. And then, can I bow them? No, nope, I didn't leave enough for a bow. That's all right. them all to kind of fall down this way. I do have, I kind of have a thought in my head. There we go. We'll separate those out. All right. Let's put a little bit of Fabri-Tac down and get these to stay put. Okay. There. Now they can fall where they want. I'm going to leave those loose so they can do what they need. All right. So a repeating pattern found in nature, ledger paper, a part of a product manual or an instruction guide. I put the whole thing in there, a thread or a piece of fabric, a quote, and something stenciled. So we have completed the Marguerite Miller Challenge week 15. I figure when we get to 24, which will be halfway through the year, we will take a look back and do a retrospective and all of that because so far so good. I have been actually doing this and, and playing along with it and kind of and enjoying myself. Okay, those are tacked down and we're going to work just fine. All right. 
If you are enjoying this channel, please make sure you've hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications so you know when the next video is going to come out. And make sure you hit the like button. That lets YouTube know that you like what, I, what I'm putting out. In the meantime, this is Cindy signing off.